a chest x-ray PA view is in front of us and we will discuss upper mediastinal structures as seen on a PA view. To identify an abnormality it is important to have a good understanding of normality and today's objective is to learn about normal anatomy just above hyla as seen on a chest x-ray. This is first thoracic vertebra. First rib is attached to first thoracic vertebra. These two things here and here are transverse processes. These pack like structures are spinous processes. So first thoracic vertebra, second thoracic vertebra, third thoracic vertebra, fourth thoracic vertebra, fifth thoracic vertebra and fifth rib and this is sixth rib and sixth thoracic vertebra at the level of bifurcation of trachea. Trachea is visible as a black column of air density running from the root of the neck towards the level of bifurcation sixth thoracic vertebra where it divides into two main bronchi right main bronchus and left main bronchus so this is right main bronchus and left main bronchus trachea normally should be in the middle with the exception of this small area here just above the bifurcation where aorta pushes the trachea towards the right side of the patient a little bit other than that tracheal deviation towards right or towards left would indicate abnormality. You will frequently see tracheal deviation towards the affected side in conditions like lung collapse, fibrosis and pneumonectomy. In conditions like tension pneumothorax and large pleural effusions, trachea will be deviated away from the affected area. Presence of space occupying lesions such as enlarged lymph nodes or retro external goiter will also deviate trachea. Right superior mediastinal border is made by superior vena cava and right brachiocephalic vein. The wall of trachea is clearly visible as an opaque line running from just above the medial end of right clavicle to the level of azigos vein. This line is known as a right paratracheal stripe and you can measure the thickness of the wall of trachea in this region which should be no more than 5 millimeter and this line is this the wall is only visible because we have air on both sides of the wall so the air in the trachea and air in lung is making this wall that does not have any air clearly visible this is tracheobronchial angle just above the azigos vein and azigos vein is a normal structure and is normal in this person but will be moderately moderately enlarged in presence of hypervolemia, systemic venous hypertension, right heart failure and inferior vena cava obstruction. The normal size of the azigos vein is less than 7 mm on an erect PA view. In x-rays taken in supine position, azigos vein may artificially look enlarged and I'll show you a supine x-ray of this person in which patient is lying while the x-ray was taken and azigos vein looks enlarged in that view. Trachea divides into two main bronchi at the level of sixth thoracic vertebra. Right main bronchus is a bit steeper and is a bit bigger in diameter as compared to left main bronchus and the left main bronchus is almost twice in length as compared to right main bronchus before it gives off first branch and enter into enters into left lung 
on the left side you have left carotid artery left subclavian artery jugular and brachiocephalic vein and it is impossible to mark any one of them separately on a plain chest x-ray but together they make left superior mediastinal border the carina is clearly visible and the angle of carina should be normally 70 degrees 70 left atrium lies just underneath the carina an enlargement of left atrium will push left main bronchus up that will increase this angle subcarinal lymph nodes will also increase this angle any angle above 70 degrees should raise concerns and angles above 90 degrees are definitely abnormal again supine view would sometimes make this angle look bigger artificially this is arch of aorta which is turning into thoracic aorta here descending thoracic aorta this is aortopulmonary window which will disappear in presence of any kind of mass lesion this is bulk of uh, pulmonary artery and this is left pulmonary artery highest point in left hilum is the left pulmonary artery as it passes over the left main bronchus on the right side highest point is right main bronchus where right pulmonary artery right main bronchus and right superior pulmonary veins are super important to be view this is the supine x-ray of the same person notice the size of the azicose vein which is artificially enlarged in this projection so in supine position patient is lying and because the exposure is for the thoracic spine you can see thoracic, thoracic vertebrae clearly and also carina right and left main bronchi are clearly visible they are much better as compared to the PA view.